The number of children who overheated and died inside cars increased across the country last year. Texas had the highest number of cases. Now a boy from McKinney has invented what he hopes is a life-saving tool that every parent could use. New at 10, our Collin County reporter Meredith Yeomans has his story. Okay, this is basically what I do most of my work. After school. And after homework. Yeah, and I'm excited. Football in the front yard is where you'll find 10-year-old Bishop Curry. So I found the heaviest blocks I can. Not playing football. Fire! Launching them. I'm in a target mode. From his homemade catapult. Trebuchet. It's a trebuchet because catapults are different. Let you see the football. It's one of his many creations. Probably like 13. But this tiny 3D model could be his biggest mm -hmm. invention mm -hmm. yet. This is my main design. Inspired by tragedy. Yeah, it was really sad for me. Curry Thank says the that. idea for his invention came after a baby died inside a hot minivan last summer. And I knew exactly where the house was when we turned on the TV and we watched it. It is still bye bye. It hit close to home for the Curry family because they have a one year old of their own. So if you're rushing home from work or you're rushing to the grocery store, I could see how somebody could forget. The honeycomb fans. The device attaches to a car seat and would detect if a baby is left inside. And it would just kind of sit on top of there. Then blows cold air until parents and authorities are alerted. It would be a dream to um, have lots of inventions that save many lives. Tell me when you're ready. They already have a provisional patent. And it's hitting the target. To keep the ball moving forward. This is very satisfying. On a fifth grader's idea that could be a game changer. In McKinney, Meredith Yeomans, NBC5. That is so smart. Curry's father is an engineer at Toyota's new Plano headquarters. The company has already taken notice of the fifth grader's invention. He recently introduced the device at an auto safety conference in Michigan. Well done. Can't wait to see what he does. I know. Yeah, I need to follow that story.